Yeah, I'm uh, Paul Wright. I'm the writer director of For Those in Peril, and I'm from Scotland. Is this your first time in Australia? It's not actually. I was uh, I was one of the annoying backpackers ten years ago, so I've been I've been to Australia before, so it's, uh, it's good to be back. What's uh, how's your trip shaped up so far? I mean, you've only been here for a few hours. <laughs> That's so far so good. Yeah, I arrived this morning after uh, the the long flight from Scotland, so yeah, it's good to be here. Your film is uh, premiering tomorrow, and you've had a few of these lately. I understand that you the film showed at Cannes. Uh, last week or a couple of two weeks ago? Two weeks ago now, yeah. Yeah, no, the, the, the premiere was at Cannes Critics Week uh, two weeks ago, so no, that was great. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great being here to uh, you know show the film to an Australian audience. It's exciting. How was the reception in, uh, in Cannes? Oh, it was really good, like, no, really positive. I think, uh, yeah, a lot of people seem to connect with the film, so that's what it's all about, yeah. It must be, as a director, the, the sort of dream to get it in, in, uh, in a festival like that. Absolutely, yeah. I think when uh, when we made it, you know, it was uh, like during post production, it was kind of mentioned the the can deadline, the can, you know, from the producers uh, particularly, obviously, and then so no, to get it in there and you know to to be involved with at can was great. You know, it was exciting. In the lead up to the production of this film, I imagine it was a long time in the making from the original gestation to actually. Um, Filming it, can you talk a little bit about that process and you know, as your debut feature? Yeah, well, uh, it was yeah, it's my first feature film, so it was uh, up until then I'd made uh, four or five short films, so it was yeah, the 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 difference I guess in just the amount of time it took. But uh, I was I was fairly fortunate. I was out of film school at the NFTS and uh, just outside London, and you know from there we went kind of straight into the. The development of the of the script for the feature, so I was quite fortunate that way that I had, you know, I had uh, some of the financiers behind me, you know, quite early on. But uh, that was a long, it was a long haul from start to finish. You know, I think, uh, you know, from from the blank page to now, it was about two and a half years or something. So uh, it's it's nice that uh, now it's you know it's done and it's 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 just about sh- uh, people seeing it now, which is great. Two and a half years isn't too bad for a no, no, feature. I think a lot of first-time directors would be like, oh, that's <laughs> yes, easy. Uh, yeah. easy. Uh, Try yeah. ten. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's true. Yeah. So we, uh, I guess the idea was there, and then uh, no, it was uh, w- once we got this script uh, together, it was it was fairly quick the the turnover. And like I say, because some of the financiers were on board mm-hmm. at the script stage, it meant going into production, I guess, easier than you know some of the. The stories you hear about uh, scripts sitting there idle for years and stuff. So yeah, I think we, we, we yeah, it worked out pretty well for us. And uh, but I think with any film for that is you know the whether it's two years or five years, I think I think it's important that it's an idea that you care about, or else it's you know it could be it could feel like ten years, you know, even if it is two <laughs> years. So it's yeah, it was good. Can you tell us a little bit about the the story behind the film? Well, uh, yeah, the the starting place uh, for the film is is about uh, a character called Aaron, who's the sole survivor of a fishing boat accident. So uh, that's that's the start of the film, and I guess the the film changes when we find out that he believes that the five men missing at sea, presumed dead, are still alive, and that he's going to you know try and bring them back from the ocean. So that's the 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 main thrust of the film. What were the challenges in filming, you know, something that has so much aquatic based, you know, themes involved in it? Yeah. No, well, I, I think on a, a fairly low budget it was, so it was, uh, you know, we had, uh, I think it was four or five days we were filming out on the ocean, which was, uh, yeah, it was exciting, I guess, it was it was cool, and, you know, we had the, the proper stuff in place to, to make that work and stuff, but it was, I think just as a director, you know, it's, it's, it was just about being as prepared as we could be because you knew uh, we might only get one take at certain things and stuff like that when we're out in the ocean so uh, no it was uh, aye uh, but I, I guess the Scottish weather was fairly uh, kind to us you know it could have been a lot worse so we got uh, the, some of the days would have been unfilmable so we were lucky that uh, the days we had to do this stuff on the water uh, the, yeah, the gods were with us you do hear a lot of horror stories from that part of the world. People <laughs> trying to make films and just rained out every day, every yeah. day, every day. Yeah, yeah. No, we were we were very lucky that way, and uh, you know, I think Scotland is such a great uh, country to make a film in, and you know, the weather is obviously a part. You know, one of the unpredictable factors, but uh, 
for the, for that we were fairly fortunate that uh, you know it was uh, it was it was sunny more than it was raining actually and uh, but just with the I think with the uh, with the, the way the, the the idea for the film as well it was kind of you know we, we had that that it would work come rain or shine you know it's like obviously with the, the mood of the piece and stuff so yeah we we the kind of yeah we made the weather work for us no matter what it was really I have to say. So it's a trite question, I know, but what do you hope people take away from it? To take away, as a, no, I, I think the film was always made that uh, so it, you know people that did like it or connect with it uh, really connected with it. So that was, uh, I think that was number one. Um, and yeah, to take away from the film, I, th- I know I, I think it, it, at its heart is really just like a love story between the two brothers, like one of the other, the brother that doesn't come back and the one that does. So uh, it's got that kind of, hopefully, the universal uh, theme of that, and then obviously dealing with the grief of you know the the uh, a village in mourning for the accident that's happened. So again, it's got these themes that I think. Uh, Hopefully they can translate to the other side of the world. That's uh, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. But yeah, yeah that's the. Uh, you know, you could have the strongest script and be the best director in the world, but if you don't have the right cast, these these sorts of films can fall apart. Sure, sure. And from the scenes I've I've seen and the things I've read, it seems like that is such a strong part of this film. Yeah, yeah. Is is a is a fantastic cast. Can you talk about um, the process of, of bringing this this cast together? Yeah, it was. Uh, well, I'd, I'd worked with uh, Kate, who plays the mother, and uh, Michael Smiley, I'd, I'd worked with before. And then, uh, you know, th- but the, the main character of Aaron is uh, George Mackay, who was, you know, it was just amazing to find him and to, to uh, because with the, ca- with the, uh, the character in the film, he's kind of in every scene. And, you know, the, we were, you know, the schedule was pretty tight and stuff, so it was, uh, it was quite full on. And for, for an actor as young as him to, to you know, uh, kind of keep up the quality that he did throughout the film was, you know, it was uh, we felt kind of blessed for that, you know, that uh, we got someone as good as him that, and I think that goes for all the cast, you know, they just, they got right behind the, the idea of what we were trying to do and, you know, everyone just gave it their all and for that uh, four or five weeks that we were filming, it was, no, it was, uh, it was great, it was just one, you know, one family and uh, we went for it, yeah. So what's next for you? What's uh, the rest of the year holding? You started working on another project. Uh, very early on, uh, working on the next project. Yeah, just uh, back to the blank page, and uh, yeah, so starting starting the development of the next uh, project. Yeah, so. Uh. Fantastic! Well, I can't wait to this see way. the film. Cool. Cheers. I really appreciate you taking time to talk to us today. No problem. Thanks very much. Right. Cheers.